Who is leading in ongoing infrastructural projects between Kenya and Tanzania? In today's video, we shall compare Kenya and Tanzania to see who is doing well in trying to develop the country with mega ongoing or completed projects. We shall look at the ongoing or completed projects in both countries, and at the end of this video, we will determine which country is doing a better job. If you are ready, please subscribe to my channel right now and let's get started. Round 1. Let's look at a few ongoing or completed projects in Kenya. Project 6. The Mombeza Lunga Lunga slash Horovora Road. This road is a crucial artery that links Kenya's interior to the port city of Mombasa. A four-lane highway is currently being built, which will speed up travel and increase safety. It is anticipated that the project will cost $345 million to complete in 2024. As it will be simpler to transport goods between the two nations, the road will also aid in boosting trade between Kenya and Tanzania. Project 5. The Nairobi Southern Bypass This bypass is a significant road that will aid in easing Nairobi's traffic problems. It is currently being built, and 2025 is when it is anticipated to be finished. The estimated cost of the project is $5.14 billion. Nairobi, one of the most congested cities in Africa, will benefit from the bypass by having less traffic. Additionally, it will help the city's air quality. Project 4. The Lamin Port and South Sudan Ethiopia Transport LAPSAT, Corridor This is a significant infrastructure project that will involve building new roads, railways, and airports, as well as a new port in Lamu, Kenya. In 2030, the project is anticipated to cost $556 billion and be finished. Kenya and the surrounding area's economy will benefit greatly from the LAPSSET corridor. Trade, tourism, and investment will all increase in the area as a result. Project 3. The Nairobi Mombasa Expressway. The Nairobi Mombasa Expressway, a significant undertaking, will link Nairobi and Mombasa. The estimated $2.8 billion price tag and 10-hour reduction in travel time between Nairobi and Mombasa. Additionally, it will increase travel and economic growth while enhancing road safety. During construction and operation, thousands of jobs are anticipated to be generated. Project 2. The Lake Turkana Wind Power Project The Lake Turkana Wind Power Project is a major investment in renewable energy. It will involve the construction of 365 wind turbines, which will generate 310 megawatts of electricity. The project is expected to cost $1.5 billion and be completed in 2025. The Lake Turkana Wind Power Project will help to reduce Kenya's reliance on fossil fuels. It will also help to create jobs and boost the local economy. The Lake Turkana Wind Power Project is a major step forward for Kenya's energy sector. It will help to reduce the country's reliance on imported oil and coal. It will also help to create jobs and boost the local economy. The project is expected to generate enough electricity to power over 600,000 homes. Project 1. The Equator Line Railway The Equator Line Railway is a major project that will connect the port city of Mombasa to the border with Uganda. It is currently under construction and is expected to be completed in 2025. The project is expected to cost $1.4 billion. The Equator Line Railway will help to boost trade between Kenya and Uganda. It will also help to improve connectivity between the two countries. The Equator Line Railway is a major investment in Kenya's infrastructure. It will help to boost economic growth by making it easier for businesses to transport goods and services between Kenya and Uganda. It will also help to improve tourism by making it easier for tourists to travel between the two countries. The railway is expected to create thousands of jobs during construction and operation. Round 2. Let's look at a few ongoing or completed projects in Tanzania. Project 6. The Standard Gauge Railway, SGR. The construction of this railway, a significant undertaking, will link Tanzania's interior with the port city of Dar es Salaam. It is currently being built, and 2025 is when it is anticipated to be finished. The estimated cost of the project is $14.8 billion. Tanzania's SGR will be a significant economic engine. Trade, tourism, and investment will all increase as a result. Project 5. The Morogoro Dodoma Highway. The road that links Morogoro and Dodoma is a crucial thoroughfare. A four-lane highway is currently being built, which will speed up travel and increase safety. 
It is anticipated that the project will cost $345 million to complete in 2024. Connectivity between the two cities will be improved thanks to the Morogoro Dodoma Highway. Additionally, it will encourage investment and trade in the area. Project 4. The Kilimanjaro International Airport, KIA. This airport will be upgraded as part of a significant project to accommodate bigger aircraft. In 2025, the project is anticipated to cost $1.5 billion and be finished. Tanzanian tourism will increase as a result of the TIA upgrade. Additionally, it will make it simpler for companies to run in the nation. Project 3. The Ravuma River Dam A significant undertaking, the Ravuma River Dam will provide water for irrigation and hydroelectric power. It is currently being built and 2025 is when it is anticipated to be finished. Cost estimates for the project are $1.2 billion. Tanzania's agricultural output will increase with the construction of the Ravuma River Dam. Additionally, it will aid in supplying electricity to local residences and businesses. A significant investment in Tanzania's infrastructure is the Ravuma River Dam. By increasing agricultural production and providing electricity to homes and businesses, it will contribute to economic growth. Thousands of jobs are anticipated to be generated during construction and operation of the dam. Project 2. The Singida Maniara Highway The Singida Maniara Highway is a major project that will connect the cities of Singida and Maniara. It is currently under construction and is expected to be completed in 2025. The project is expected to cost $345 million. The Singida Maniara Highway will help to improve connectivity between the two cities. It will also help to boost trade and investment in the region. The Singida Maniara Highway is a major investment in Tanzania's infrastructure. It will help to boost economic growth by improving connectivity between the two cities. The highway is expected to create thousands of jobs during construction and operation. Project 1. The Zanzibar International Airport, ZIA. The Zanzibar International Airport, ZIA, is a major project that will be upgraded to handle larger aircraft. The project is expected to cost $1.5 billion and be completed in 2025. The ZIA upgrade is a major investment in Tanzania's tourism sector. It will help to boost economic growth by making it easier for tourists to travel to and from Zanzibar. The upgrade is expected to create thousands of jobs during construction and operation. So, which country is leading in ongoing infrastructural projects? It's hard to say for sure, as both Kenya and Tanzania are investing heavily in infrastructure. However, Tanzania may have a slight edge as it has a number of major projects that are nearing completion. The SDR and CIA are both expected to be completed in 2025, and they will have a major impact on the Tanzanian economy. In conclusion, both Kenya and Tanzania are investing heavily in infrastructure. This is a positive development, as it will help to boost economic growth and improve the lives of their citizens. It will be interesting to see how these projects develop in the coming years and who ultimately comes out ahead.